is uh, Imam Junaid Abdul Qadri. I'm the director general and the founder of Al Bashirun Foundation. Al Bashirun means uh, the Gladden Point Foundation, an Islamic foundation that is based in Abuja by the special grace of the Almighty God. This session is about um, peace and um, fulfillment of uh, promise made to the Almighty God. You know, in life, we are all yearning for something. If you are yearning for something, we have two ways to do that. The first one is um, spiritual. The second one is by creativity. So creativity means either through aptitude or attitude. Aptitude means education, academics. Attitude means moral. Then if you, have, if you put the aptitude and attitude together, that is one. Then the second one is spirituality. There was a prophet of Allah known as Prophet Ibrahim, he was tested with um, uh, barrenness, so to speak. His wife could not be able to deliver a child. And uh, he has put all the aptitude and attitude in text. For a very long period, he could not be able to deliver a child. So he now came back to spiritual aspect of it, praying to God. Praying to God, he did it for a very long time. He could not give birth to a child. Then during one of the prayers, he now promised God that if you can give me this child, I am going to use the child as a sacrifice for you. So when he now, uh, his wife is Sarah, he, he later married another wife, Hajara. The two were on board, no child again. That is aptitude and attitude. He put the necessary things in place. He was a man, he married a wife, two wives. So marrying the two of them, they could not give birth to a child. He now prayed that if Allah could give him a child, the first one will be used for sacrifice. So when Allah gave him the child, at age 13, that means that before you can say you want to kill Ram, you must, your first child must have reached 13. At age 13, God now reminded him, you promised this. Try to fulfill it. He now decided to take the child to a particular point. As Shaitan tried to derail him from doing that. As Shaitan tried to bamboozle him. So he did not listen to Shaitan. As Shaitan came to his wife, the world can never hear this. You want to kill your child, your only child? You know Ibrahim has another wife. He would definitely go and uh, the other wife would definitely start giving birth to children. If this child is dead now, you, you have no child again. Ajara said no. Then his two came to Ismail. Ismail said no. So for this, he took the child to where he to slaughter it. As he was about slaughtering the child, the wife could not slaughter the child. The name of the child was Ismail. He tried the second time, no way. The third time, he used the, the knife to, you know, work on the stone. The knife broke the stone into two. So this knife is this sharp. Why is not Allah now ask a ram to descend from the heaven for him? The ram was now what was killed that day. That is the genesis of killing, slaughtering ram. During the Eid of Salah, and when the ram was killed, Prophet Ibrahim just told the child, it is time for us to go home. And that is what we call Ileya. It is time for us to go home. So that's the significance of today. Killing ram is like going to Hajj. You have money, go to Hajj. You don't have money, you stay at home. Killing ram also has the same symbolic reference. You have money, you slaughter your ram. You don't have money, you celebrate it at a low key. You can put on your garment, you can put on your clothes, white clothes, you can go and pray. You come back home, you buy one chicken, you slaughter it, you eat with your family. It is not a must you kill the ram if you don't have money. But if you have, 
it is conditionally made compulsory. Al-Islam, As-Salam. Al-Islam, As-Salam. Islam is peace. Islam is tranquility. Islam is gentility. And I have this message from the Holy Quran for all Muslims around the world that are waging war against other people. Allah says, you are not a Muslim. He says, wa ibadu rahman alladina yamushuna ala l'aribi rawnan wa ida khatabahum lijahiluna qalu salaman Allah says, wa ibadu rahman and the worshippers of Allah, the servants of Allah, alladina are those yamushuna ala l'aribi rawnan they are working on the surface of earth with gentility, with calmness, with tranquility. They don't engage in anything violent. They don't engage in anything war. They don't engage in killing their leaders. They don't engage in kidnapping. They don't engage in raping. They don't engage in stealing. They don't engage in anything that will make their future Unfortunate. Why you there caught about whom the jahiluna and why the ignoramus try to fight with them? They, they, too, they are not supposed to even fight. Allah says, Call Mr. Laman. They should say, I am for peace. This one is now talking about a society, a foundation, an international foundation I belong to, Universal Peace Federation. Our chairman for Nigeria is an Mantu. We are preaching peace at anywhere we go and we are telling everybody let us have the sense of interreligious harmony interreligious coexistence muslims should not be fighting christians again christians should not be fighting muslims again let us work all work for the development of our community